Welcome back, everyone. Valentine's Day is tomorrow, and holiday can be tough for people dealing with a recent breakup. Like Beyonce, you can put it all of his stuff in a box to the left. That's my left. No, my, okay, my guess, all right. No. But why not just take it to the curb? Jen Dalton reports from the local 12 back lot with a creative way for newly single folks <laughs> to celebrate Valentine's Day. Hey, Jen. Hey, you guys, you are going to love this. This is this is really fun, and it'll be cleansing for people who need this. So Junk King Cincinnati has branded, as you can see behind me here, one of their trucks to become a dump truck for Valentine's Day, inviting heartbroken people to Get rid of their ex-lover stuff, the forgotten belongings, the picture frames, things that you kind of just forgot you had from those people you just want to get away from. Hoodies, whatever it is, corny gifts that they gave you, pictures, I don't care what it is. And you can put it in the truck for free. For each dumped item, Junk King is going to donate $1 to the American Heart Association, and there's a whole lot more. But I want to talk to one of the masterminds behind this campaign, and that is Jack Brenda Moore from Junk King Cincinnati. Good morning. Good morning. Thank you for having us. So you guys have done this before, and you were telling me you usually get a lot of people kind of coming out and getting rid of their stuff. So this is not only a service to kind of get rid of actual things, but it kind of helps people get cleanse their hearts too. Yeah, this is our, I think, fourth or fifth year in a row. And people just, it's a fun and creative <laughs> way for people who maybe don't have a date or are trying to get over a relationship to come up, get rid of their stuff. And then we give them some chocolates and candy and things like that to take home with them. <laughs> I love that. So you're out with the old, in with the positive. Uh, so the truck is behind us here. So where will people go? Where will you be that if people want to come and dump things? So it is at Full Throttle Adrenaline. Yeah. It's, it's a, like a go-kart racing place in Tri-County. And we'll be there tomorrow from 2 to 6 p.m. And people can come up with anything from an old stuffed animal to a picture to some hoodies, whatever it may be. Put it in the truck, and then they can uh, go inside and have some fun if they want to. I love that. All right, so let's go around to the back of the truck, you guys, and we can see some items. Some of the things that maybe people have brought before, if you're thinking, oh, what do, what do I need to get rid of? What do I need to release? So, you know, maybe it's you, maybe you don't have anything from your current or your former exes, but something reminds you of them, like their favorite movie was Happy Gilmore. I would never want to get rid of this movie, but I understand if it was special to somebody that you love, used to love and you want to get rid of, but some other items here? Yeah, we had someone last year come out, come up, they got out of their car, they threw like a bracelet or necklace in the truck, and then they <laughs> got back in their car and drove away. So they actually found closure, but video game systems, hoodies, uh, stuffed animals, pictures, cards, and then like I said here, we have a, a little gift we'll give to everyone, a, a heart with some uh, cookies and chocolate in it, and, and we'll give this one to you as our, our first you. one. I love that, that you do that. And, and just quickly, I wanted to mention, too, that you, you save a lot of items from going into the landfill, right? We do. Junk King, the biggest thing we try and do is keep things out of the landfill. That's what separates us. So anything we can donate, anything we can recycle, we don't just dump in the ground. I love that so much. Okay, so tomorrow again, full throttle from 2 to 6, right, in Tri-County? That is correct. Okay, come out and dump your stuff. All right, guys, I want to send it back to you in the studio. Anything that you guys would want to get rid of yeah. I can bring out for you? I don't want to get rid of anything. Just don't let them throw away that copy of Happy Gilmore. <laughs> I won't. The Happy Gilmore will not be thrown away. Don't worry. Okay. Just Who, who's that in the photo? There's a picture frame behind you. I don't, I don't know who's that. I don't know who's in the photos right now. <laughs> oh, that's his wife. He's, yeah, she's going to be. The, he's in trouble now for Valentine's Day. Oh, just, for show. Oh. just for show. Just, just for show. Just a prop. <laughs> okay, Jen. Thank you, Jen. <laughs> I, you know, I'm curious to know how many people actually. I mean, it sounds like it's a huge turnout. He's been doing it for several years. Have that much stuff still sitting right. around or whatever. Right. I mean, because if it wasn't recent. Like, why would you That's still... what I'm saying. Like, why would you... Like, I told you what I did. I had my ex-boyfriend's uh, hoodie. It was a Bob Marley hoodie. And I saw some homeless individuals at the stoplight. Which I think is really cool. Just pulled over. And you just gave it to them. gave it to them. I love that. I mean... Everybody wins in that scenario. Yeah, it was a nice sweatshirt, you right. know? Hey. <laughs> That's so funny to me, right? <laughs>